All right, so it's been a hot second since I've played Sneak and Show and Legacy. And we played a little bit of Legacy off and on recently, but not enough to know or really have any educated opinions on if this deck's well positioned or good or bad or otherwise. It's playing, it's playing all the good Legacy cards in Brainstorm, Ponder, Force of Will. Basically, most of the good decks in this format play four of each of those cards. And this deck's got a real... <clears throat> this deck has a real busted proactive game plan in that you just like cast your thing and put your giant pig into play and then hopefully your pig is good enough. Occasionally you sneak attack things into play too. <clears throat> we'll see how this goes. Skittles Budgie, thanks for the brand new Prime support. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for keeping me employed here. <clears throat> yeah, this is a this is a weird kind of like split build. Like it's got omniscience and a, a cunning wish package, but like it's also has like <clears throat> a bunch of intuition packages too. There's like mono threes on everything. Negative JW. We're doing doing two. Gonna my, my plan tonight is do two legacy leagues followed by two modern leagues. This hand is like pretty exceptionally bad. Pretty slow. Triple cutting wish is real bad. Doesn't doesn't really go anywhere quickly. Uh, this hand has force blue card land cantrip, so definitely keep. I'm gonna top a second land here. <clears throat> nope. All all magic online this evening. I always, uh, actually, I don't even need, I don't even know why I put my headphones on. There's no, there's no sound effects in this game. Just force a habit. <coughs> Can leave, leave those off. <coughs> there's no, there's no sound Sia was listening to. The Elver. Yep. So probably, uh, Death Shadow based on Watery Grave. Two thirds of the way to my storage, Stephen Douglas Weeks. Thanks for the eight month three sub. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me employed here. <laughs> uh, if you're on an iOS phone, in order to use your Twitch Prime, you have to open the desktop version of my Twitch page in your mobile browser and subscribe that way. If you're on Android, there should be a subscribe using Prime button there somewhere. But you can't use uh, can't use Prime on uh, on iOS. <laughs> So like this hand needs a fatty at some point, but we also kind of need lands. I think I'm gonna shuffle this. I don't think I really want to draw two. Maybe maybe I'm supposed to keep it and like take the ponder plus the Emrakul. There's a possibility. I guess if I don't if I don't hit a cantrip extra, I don't really have anything to do. <laughs> Is it feasible to run the new Div Mizzet and sneak a show? I mean, is it feasible? Sure. Is it optimal? Definitely not. All all things are worse than Gristle Brand and Emrakul. What's going on, Dibbles? Thanks for the brand new Twitch Prime support. I know there's a lot of great people <clears throat> making a lot of great stuff on Twitch right now. Thanks for supporting mine. <clears throat> Delver decks and Legacy tend to devour <coughs> spell-based combo decks like what we're playing, so wouldn't be too surprised if we get run over here. Yeah, I think my Ponder Shuffle was a mistake. Probably should have kept Emrakul plus Ponder. So I could have used the Fetch to clear the uh, clear the Force Wall and then Ponder. Yeah, sure, it's fine with Show and Tell, but it's still like worse than Gristle Brand and probably worse than Emrakul, right? 
I guess it's cute in that you could theoretically cast it, but even casting it's probably pretty difficult in your deck full of Ancient Tombs and City of Traders. You know what else is really good against control? Crystal Brand and Emercool. Those two cards are pretty good against control. So after constant exposure to your content, I've broken down and gotten into Arena. I've not been watching the Arena content, but the overall positivity towards it broke me down eventually. It's just, it's really good, Pathfinder. Just like exceptionally so. We're not scolding turns in this deck. Oh, there's no, there's no basic mountain in this deck list. That's interesting. I think I have to. F I we're we're just very dead. Like I could I could force this, but like they have a force of their own. Yeah, play standard. The uh, too many too many people like look at these sweet cards. They're like, oh man, how do I play this really sweet card in this format where it's unplayable? It's like stop it. It's it's okay to want to play sweet standard cards. Just play standard. Don't try and like. Make your sweet standard cards work in a format where they're terrible, like this one. BK Rom, thanks for the brand new Prime support. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Honestly, I don't even think I want the Pyroclasms here. I think it's just the Besage you in. I'm going to trim my copy. I'm going to trim my copy of Omniscience, I think. <clears throat> Could see Cunning Wish or Impulse go to. They're both kind of filler. I mean, this hand like has our combo pieces in it, but it's like it's got infinite clunks. There's just no cantrips. There's no guaranteed way to get to another land. Seems very reasonable. Uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna put that on top because I have the show intel here along with the besiege you So that means this preordain next turn just has to find another land Nice BK. Well, thanks for keeping me. I think you keep me employed. So, Cunning Wish lets you win when you have Omniscience in play. You can win in a couple of different ways. You can... So, we're going to lose our show until here. You can Cunning Wish for Intuition, then Intuition for Emrakul. Uh, this deck concept is referred to Sneak and Show as Sneak and Show. I'm professional on occasion. I'm organized. Definitely, definitely get off topic on occasion, but try to try to do our best to be organized around here. I think this is just bottoms up here. <clears throat> Looking for another show and tell, basically. I don't think this deck is very well represented in Legacy. Um, I, I honestly don't know. I'm not, like, the smartest thing you could do is, is admit when you don't know something, and I just, I genuinely just have no, no, very little experience with the current state of this format. I do know that this deck and decks like it get chewed up and spit out by disruption-heavy, cantrip-heavy, threat-heavy decks like, you know, tempo decks like Delver just chew up and spit out spell-based decks like this. Just kind of how it goes. You don't have, a, don't have much of a chance. I know when I personally... 
previously, like last year or so, when I was playing a bunch of Legacy, I played the Legacy team in a couple of team tournaments. I know after playing with traditional sneak and show, I greatly preferred playing Mono Blue uh, Show and Tell, the Mono Blue Omni Show deck, more than Sneak and Show. Your mana base just gets a lot better, which gives you a little bit more consistency against decks like Delver. You're still a dog to them, but you're a little bit less of a dog than this. This archetype also tends to be very clunky against decks, again, just in general, because like, look at this. You have nine, you have nine things that cost this much mana. So like, your hand just like clumps up on them sometimes. And you don't do anything. So, you hold O one O four pairing. All right. I mean, this hand has like lands and brainstorms, so like I guess we keep. I definitely think if you want to be like putting things into play, you probably want to be reanimating rather than playing sneak and show. The red black reanimator deck was really impressive last time. Last time we played it. Yeah, it's been a hot second since we played Lad Nauseam. That deck's a lot of fun. Bayou, Sylvan Safekeeper, probably Turbo Depths, which is a black-green deck that looks to uh, get Dark Depths going ASAP. Alright, so I'm going to put back City of Traitors plus Volcanic Island. We'll use this fetch land to clear my Brainstorm. I'm going to fetch Basic Island for the time being because I would prefer my opponent doesn't know that I'm playing uh, Sneak and Show or Show and Show. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back, put this back, put this back, draw the Fluster Storm. And I'm going to go ahead and play the Lotus Petal, which gives away a little bit of information about what I'm doing. But I'd like to hold up Fluster Storm this turn, I, turn, I think. Do I think that Allies will be played on Tuesday? Uh, most likely, depending on if, there, if things aren't bumped during today's stream. So whatever, whatever modern and whatever modern slash legacy decks have the most points at the end of today's stream after I add any bonuses people apply will be played Tuesday morning. I am taking tomorrow off because daycare is closed. You can you can permanently ban that person. Uh, that doesn't that doesn't need to be a timeout, Ken Cutter. Just permanently acts assholes like that. <clears throat> that's that's some positivity I need in my life. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna tweet that one. Where'd that, where'd that one go? I'm gonna tweet the username and all, cause fuck that person. Oh man, I can't find it. Is it gone? I missed it. I don't know where it goes. Rats, it's fine. It's probably saving me from myself. It's probably saving me for myself. It's whatever. People like that are the stains of the internet. Just like little, little idiotic hobgoblins that are so miserable in their own lives they have to tear down people trying to make things. Oh look, you put a Caracas into play. How about I cast Emrakul off my Omniscience? Yay! Buck Choi, thanks for the 12 month reset. I appreciate the entire year. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thanks for keeping me employed here. 
I knight the defender of the realm, go forth and protect us from Twitch chat. Listen, as someone who is 100% a millennial, I am allowed to say the following. Fucking millennials are the worst. They're just, just the stone cold worst. And there's nothing that screams millennial more than just like feeling this sense of entitlement that not only do you dislike something, but you have to like walk into a room full of people who like that thing and let them know how displeased you are with this thing. Rather, rather than, and like, there's no, it's like the sense of entitlement goes even past that, right? Because like, it doesn't even, it doesn't even cost them anything, right? It's not like they paid to be here. Just like, well, allow me to let you know how displeased I am with all of you. Please, please bend and twist your will to, to appease me, person who gives you literal nothing. Now, let's just never use that term as an insult, Tony. Just never appropriate. Hey, thanks for the $10 tip there. Nation for my standard submission. Thanks for the support, Uprick. I'll get that added later tonight. It's a misunderstanding of customer service. They're not, they're not a customer if they're not paying, right? If I wanted to win a tournament, what deck would I play? The white red aggro deck. The deck I played in the Twitch streamer 10k. I think that deck's great. Can I just force this? They mulligan to six. I'm just gonna force this. It's gonna like pitch this fluster storm. Yeah, even even if they paid me in ads and didn't use ad block, you know how much ads pay? They can pound sand. They can get out of here. No Leyline. Yeah, Leyline would probably be good. I wasn't thinking about them having discard as disruption. I don't know. I'm just like not a huge fan of Leyline in general in these decks. Just like, I feel like these decks like already mulligan a lot. So then like you mulligan even more on top of it just feels real bad. Just like another thing you have to mulligan for. So they don't have another discard spell here. We get to like show and tell an omniscience next turn, which doesn't guaranteed kill them, but we can maybe can trip into the kill. Correct, yes. Decks, decks still listed in the stream title are ones that we have yet to play, still. Alright, so another top card's a Lotus Battle. Alright, I found a sneak attack. Um, I already played a land for the turn. I think I just hang tight. I think I'm supposed to just hang tight. I think I'm gonna put Lotus Petal Brainstorm back on top of my deck, cast the sneak attack, and then just like hold the Force of Will up. Like I could Brainstorm again here, but Brainstorming this turn only gets me one card deeper. And I'd much rather like draw the Brainstorm next turn, crack the fetch land and get three fresh cards. S S I is a, uh, I should have, I'm sorry, I'm reading chat and I just clicked through letting them do that. Well, hopefully we don't brick next turn or else this will be embarrassing. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to get there. I believe. All right. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. That, that smug turd that we just banned in chat is still sitting there and he's currently just like, 
self-pleasuring themselves to, like, the idea that I misclicked through that, uh... That, that force of will there. They're just, they're just so, so ecstatic that I messed up. They're just like, oh, I was so right. Jeff has no idea how to play Legacy. Oh, I'm so smart. And Jeff is so stupid. Ugh. Oh. All right. Uh, I don't think I want Leyline here. I don't. Yeah, just. <laughs> exactly, kid. Exactly. Just sitting there, sitting there in their computer chair in their mom's basement, just letting themselves know how smart they are. I feel like maybe I cut the soft counters here and bring in the uh, the ley lines. Maybe that's fine. Maybe that's the line. Because the soft counters aren't fantastic anyways. I think, I think that's the plan. Let's cut an impulse. Let's cut an impulse. So we're a Cutting Wish deck, so the, the Echoing Truth stays in the sideboard, so we can Cutting Wish for it if we need to. It's going on confusion. Thanks for the biddies. Excellent Hearthstone hand, mediocre magic hand. Well, I have I have my ley lines of sanctity, and I have and I have all of my combo chat. All right, here we go. They also went to five. Worth worth noting. I'm gonna top this as a show of strength, but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna fetch a land here in a second. I should probably put like a language warning and a mature content warning on this video for YouTube, but children probably aren't watching Legacy anyway, so we should be okay. I'm gonna go bottom, bottom here and just dig deep for a show and tell. Cause I, I have like, I have nine things that I can put into play with show and tell, but like only four show and tells. Just immediately draw the show and tell and get punished. God bless. This is my last year at Overshadowed by the Incident Plus Three for Spanish Inquisition. Yeah, definitely, Dougie. And I think I, I, th I thought I, I thought I caught it. And I, I go through at the end. So so long as you, so long as you, um, what's it called? So long as you indicate in your cheer what deck it's for. I always go back at the end of the stream and look through the the log of cheers and put everything where it needs to go. Our Twitch babies here. What's going on? We have the technology. Thanks for the ten months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. All right, I mean. Putting the Emrakul into play isn't amazing because they have like Caracas, but it's better than nothing I think here. Uh, this is match two. Where do I find what decks are available to be voted on? Uh, in the deck queue on my website here. Maybe I'm supposed to force the Sylvan Scrying. It's very possible. We had okay numbers last night for modern. What do we? What do we end up in? I got stream summaries here. We ended up with uh, average of seven hundred ninety-eight viewers for last night, which was definitely helped. Savitz gave us a giant host, which definitely helped the. Are uh, oh, they named Sneak Attack with the needle here? Yep, yeah, Prime subs are identical to Tier 1 subs in every way for me. So Prime subs have access to the Discord just like everybody else. <clears throat> Someday Naya Ramp will make the top of the list. What's going on, Case? I'm actually taking tomorrow off, so... Daycare is closed tomorrow and New Year's Day. So I'm taking off tomorrow and Christy's taking off New Year's Day. So... I'll be live Tuesday through Friday during the day this week. 
I'll be off tomorrow. That's why I'm that's why I'm live two days this weekend. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean resolves. Oh, this is why I can't have nice things. This is why I normally have a water bottle with a cup. Definitely just knocked my drink over. Magic players are so god-awful annoying. If you have the mother flipping crop rotation, why would you wait and do it on my upkeep and not just like cast it on your own turn? Like, just to be annoying? That's, that's the reason to do it, is just to be annoying. Just like, make me think I have a chance. Thanks, I appreciate it. Oh, I think I'm pretty over this deck. Those are all real bad. Intuition. All right, well, that finds one of some things, I guess. Man, there's something gobbling system resources of the Magic Online. My Moto seems to be running slower than normal. What is using memory? Some Chrome process is gobbling 1.3 gigs of RAM. Let's kill that. Which one of my browser crabs, Ted? Ted. Oh, oh, are we all still here? I think we're all still here. Did things get faster? Was it Twitch? Was Twitch gobbling memory? Websites leak, leak memory like no other. It's impressive. And that, that was just one Chrome tab. So one Chrome tab was using Using 1.3 gigs. Every Chrome tab is an individual process, for those who aren't familiar. Yeah, I agree. I think this deck's really lackluster. So. Alright, I'm gonna be done with this one. There it goes. There it goes. I'm glad. I'm glad I just bought three hundred dollars worth of moto tickets because there goes twelve dollars. We'll never get back. It's like thirty minutes lost twelve dollars. But Magic Online does not resemble online gambling, not in the slightest. <laughs> that's that's the best about Magic Arena. When you figure out to figure out a deck's not good on Magic Arena, I don't have to like set a Chipotle burrito on fire. <laughs> that cost me more than a trip to Chipotle. Chipotle is way less than $12 for a full veggie bowl. Sneak and show. Um, this is a deck that sporadically puts up results. Uh, feels super clunky. Felt super clunky there. Got run over by Delver. I did misclick out of out of likely winning game two, to be fair, in the second match. Just like fair is fair. Before you want to put some kind of obnoxious comment below this YouTube video that's going to get you hidden on my channel for the rest of the time. For the rest of time, um, I'm aware that I misclicked and likely could have won game two there. But this archetype still feels incredibly clunky. Just having this many things that are expensive that you can't put into play. Just super not smooth compared to other builds. I, I like Mono Blue Omniscience a lot more. Last time I was testing this archetype out last year and Red Black Reanimator felt like the better, more consistent, put a big thing into play. So 
All right, onward, onward, upward, backward, forward.